OK, well, today we did see those scattered snow showers. Also, cool air beginning to find its way back into the region, but this is only the beginning. Later on into the week, temperatures will drop even more for us, and we're going to really feel more like the Arctic than uh, just the mild winter we have been having as of recent. But look at the snow and all the other precipitation that is currently all across the map here. You can see it going all the way down to Kentucky, Tennessee. Uh, some of that mixed precipitation getting closer to Ohio, but for us, it is all in the form of uh, flakes, and we'll see more of them as we head into the evening and probably going to see a bit more as you go across our western zones and looking out for possibly close to a half a foot in those locations as we head throughout the night and early tomorrow. But we'll talk about that here in a few seconds. Right now, 21 degrees in Marquette with winds out of the northwest at 16 miles per hour, actually at 19 degrees. Upper teens for us here in Marquette as you head farther off to the west, we do have that cool air already in place. So 14 in Altanagan, 17 in Houghton, while at 22 in Crystal Falls and seeing those lower 20s also in Menominee. Eastward, middle 20s in Munising and Manistique, 30s at this moment in Sault Ste. Marie and into St. Ignace, while at 27 in Escanaba and here in Ishpeming at 19. Winds out of the northwest, 16 in Houghton, 13 in Iron Mountain, while at 12 in Munising and 10 in Escanaba. We'll expect some winds anywhere between 15, maybe perhaps even 25 miles per hour as we head throughout the night. And current temperatures across the state, seeing more of those 30s and 40s as you head farther south. As far as the wind chills, though, look at them. 5 currently in Marquette, while at 2 in Ironwood and at 11 in Iron Mountain. So we're getting ready to be brutally cold out there in terms of the wind chills, and we're going to have to really bundle up as we head throughout the evening. So the cool air, it is entering right now for us. Blustery and very cold into the afternoon on Tuesday with the light snow across the region. Uh, minor accumulations for the majority of us. There are going to be some lake effect snow showers, though. If you get caught under one of those, that might put down a quick two, perhaps maybe even four inches if it's prolonged for more of a period of just two hours. But temperatures will eventually drop below that zero degree mark later on into the week as we'll have even more cool air reinforcing shot and just, just Arctic air find its way back into the area. But here's a look at our watches and warnings. Northern Houghton, Keweenaw, Ontonagan and Gogeba County. You are currently under a winter weather advisory and this is going to be until 4 p.m. tomorrow afternoon. Now we'll see snow amounts anywhere between four, maybe eight inches in those locations as you get farther to the south and east three to six in the lighter blue and then all the areas in the white uh, just a your run of the mill one to three inches with those snow showers mostly all of the scattered variety but you know, we'll continue to see more of it as we go into tomorrow afternoon tomorrow evening and going into tomorrow night so uh, eventually it will all add up so one to three just for us heading into tonight across those areas might even turn into maybe three to six as we get into Tuesday evening and going into Wednesday but here's a look at our setup right now you can see the low pressure system continuing to spiral across the Great Lakes, bringing in that much colder air uh, from the north and also picking up the winds for us and heading into tomorrow. It doesn't move much either, and you'll see it just beginning to push its way over northern Lake Erie and southern Lake Ontario. For us, though, uh, just seeing more of the scattered lake effect snow showers uh, as we go into the day. Your future cast model, keeping the snow in place, especially as you go into our western zones. Here it is as we go into tomorrow afternoon. A lot of snow, a lot of cold air, and a lot of wind. And then as we go into tomorrow evening, you'll start to see that that does taper down for us just a bit. But we'll keep at least a chance around as we go into tomorrow night and also into Wednesday. Tonight, we'll drop down to 9 degrees, breezy and much cooler with winds uh, out of the northwest between 10 to 20 miles per hour. And also, watch out for those scattered snow showers. Tuesday, cold with snow showers and more than wind. Winds shifting just slightly out of the north-northwest, but look at how they pick up between 15 to 25 gusts, probably even higher than 30 miles per hour at times. Highs in those lower teens in Launce and in Nantanagan. Upper teens as you head into Crystal Falls and Iron Mountain as you go into uh, Escanaba. A 21 degree high while at 21 also in Manistique and Munising at 22 degrees. Your seven day forecast looking out for more of those cold conditions as we head over the next three days. 15 on Tuesday, 11 on Wednesday. We'll top off at 15 with a slight chance of snow, maybe even seeing some sun as we get into Thursday. But you'll notice as we go into Friday, it gets even colder down to seven. We'll see the same into Saturday before beginning to moderate a bit heading into Sunday and Monday.